if Steve looks hot, it's not because he just lost some more weight. His AC is out again. Yeah, well, with all this sweating, with it being 100 degrees still, I might just lose some more weight and actually look hot. Hey, did you know the tumbler's working and cleaning up its posts? Well, that's good. And cities are cleaning up their transportation. First, there was a monthly subscription for cars called FlexDrive. Then you could rent bikes with City Bike, but now you can rent electric scooters with Bird. Our genuine positivity message is contagious. And Scott and I would love it if you caught this message. With Deep Fake, I can now dance like Shakira. I didn't expect you to say Shakira, but that's something I want to see. And our phrase origin story is a threefer. Give up on my way. Welcome to What Happened in the World Today. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show. And we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world. And what I've noticed is I can get a bacon kraut piagi for $6? Uh, eight. Is that $8? $8? Yes, $8. Peanuts, peanuts are four seventy-five. Right. But I wouldn't but, get peanuts in my piagi. No, no. What I ended up actually getting was the... Uh, peppers and onions over the pierogies. Pier- pier- pierogies, uh, pierogies, oh, yeah. pierogies, pierogies, pierogies. I gotta get my Polak back in me. Pierogies. Yakshumash. 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 You're supposed to say Dubja. Okay, Dubja. Okay. For yeah. our for our Polish contingent, was that Polish? It was. Ah, Easter Dumaspash. I that, I was told that was go home and go to bed, but I it had no it could idea. be. Nobody I, ever said that to me. I have no idea. I'm a they used to always say, come and eat pierogies. So I gave him and eat pierogies. I'm third generation, and I'm, uh, I've, I've failed as a generational carrier. I see that. So, um, Speaking of so failure. Where, so where, where was this? Well, well, well that was at Miller Park when I did the, the Brewers game. I was dumbfounded that they sold pierogies in, in Miller Park. Why? Well, that, that's an ethical. Ethnical? I can just say ethnic, and that's a real word. I didn't have to make yes, it. Ethnic is a correct word, because otherwise it's, it's ethnical. A, ethnical, ethnic. It's ethnical. I made, a, I, made a, I made a new word. It's ethnic. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Submit it to Webster. See what happens. Yeah. So, no, that's very cool. So, so how did the Brewers do? They actually won that day. How are they doing in the season? I have not followed baseball this year at all. They are pretty much a lock on, on the wild card, for sure. Right oh. now they're in second place. Oh, so they're in the playoffs. Yes. Good for you. That means possibility of making more money and more trips. Yay. Uh, yes. I, I actually have quite a few Wednesday gigs coming up, which just really freaked me out. Very good. I'll, I'll take it. That. Weekday work is money. So I don't know if you saw the movie Get Out, but I did not see the movie Get Out. But I do remember, remember we were talking once about Amityville Horrors and yes. how my daughter would have the movie would have been like five minutes because in the first five minutes of the movie, the house actually says, get out. Yeah. Right. And right. And she'd there. get out because that's what I would do. Yeah. Well, I think my house that I live in is telling me no visitors. Every time we have someone over here to visit something in the house breaks, like really serious breaking. Um, Water spigot in the shower broke. So our water is shooting out. It's one of those single cartridges that go in, you know. So the water is shooting out into the shower. I've turned the water off in the whole house. Um, that was one visit from, from Just people. Just don't get it in your ear. Uh, I don't know if you recall, but we talked about when my daughter graduated earlier this summer. The AC went out. Yes. Um, and that took like a month to fix it. I put a new compressor in, which in Las Vegas and Nevada, that's not bearable. Um, the hot water, we had hot water and cold water handles. Right. The hot water handle was stiff. It's a you know, plastic cartridge. So no, yeah. we thought it, turn it off, turn it on. Wake up at one or two in the morning. The handle had broken off and the water was shooting up on the Certainly, wall, just like a fountain. Spraying all, all over the place and flooding the place. Yeah. Um, company over. So my buddy Al is in from Chicago. And, hi, uh, Al. Yeah, hi, Al. Uh, and uh, the AC went out again upstairs. We had a power outage. Um, and was when, it a surge first? I don't know. I wasn't here, uh, but we know it was out because everything was flashing blah, 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 or you yeah. know, one of the clocks reset or whatever. You know, yep. the computers are all off. 
Um, and the AC did not come back on. So That's all right. You don't really need it. You're past the hot spot. Yeah, it's only down to 107 now instead of 110 or 107. Yeah, see? So, Comfy weather. So, so it's great. It's dry heat. So, yeah, it's a dry heat. Yeah, when it's over 100, it's over 100. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't even care. And we're having a similar issue. We've been yeah, in the you, upper you, 80s. With, you guys are late August. With 70 dew point. That is stupid. Uh, that's crazy. And Last it, night it, it from not, not 11 it. o'clock at night until 7 o'clock in the morning, it was exactly 100% humidity. <laughs> and not raining. And not raining. But if you walked outside, it like, been. you're wet. When by just As soon as you step outside, the water just attaches to you. It's when you take your towel and you hang it up over to dry over the uh, the shower enclosure and yes. you get up the next morning and it's still wet. Of course. Yeah. You have to put it in the dryer so you can actually use the towel again. But that is that is that is crazy. That it is, crazy. is. But that's so that's what's going on in our world. Huh. Yes. Nothing nothing good, nothing fun. But um, I saw I don't use Tumblr that much. I have friends that use Tumblr. But Tumblr is trying to ban hate speech. Correct. Also, they're trying to ban any posts that celebrate school shootings and any posts that involve revenge porn. <laughs> Bummer. Regular porn's okay, but revenge porn's no good. Yeah, well, that's because you've posted something that you did with somebody after Correct. you up with them. Without their permission to post it. Yeah, well, okay, stop doing the videos. You know that they're, hey, how many times does this happen? Oh, it, you don't have to stop. The video's going gonna, gonna, gonna to get out. Just my, my, my train of thought here is if, if you've got the open-mindedness to create something like this, just remember, other people are going to sooner or later see it. And you yeah, have to celebrate it. Own it. Own it. Celebrate it. You know, if, if pictures of me got out, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, so <laughs> how, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're apologizing. Uh, you're going to, you're, uh. You're never going to be able to unsee that, is what you're no. saying. No. <laughs> oh, you're born naked. It, who cares? I, I, you know, hey, I love the body in all shapes and forms. That's correct. Yeah. That's what we have. I'm, I'm good with it. You know, we're, but, we're but, the So how is Tumblr going to fix this, though? Well, a couple different ways. One, they, obviously, they have the, uh, uh, I'm having a brain fart as to what it's called, the program AI. that monitors. AI, they also the algorithm? Have, yes, the algorithm. But they're also paying for more monitors. Uh, monitors, is that the right word? Not monitors. Yeah, monitors. Moderators. 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 Moderators to, oh, monitors. to monitor the situation. There we go. Yeah. So the, 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 the original words, uh, the, the disclaimer, I, it's not really a disclaimer. The rules. The original rules are. are Guidelines. Keep going. Right. Stop using uh, words you can't use. I'll, I'll left, just jump in here and I'll help you. Left way too much gray area, and the people with all this negative stuff are taking advantage of the gray area, so they're erasing that gray area. So now you can get banned faster. Cool. So these words created a gray area. So here's what it said originally, right? If you encounter negative speech that does not rise to the level of violence or threats of violence. <laughs> Excuse me. So, you know, okay, what, 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 do you, what constitutes violence or a threat of violence? Correct. You just say, hey, you say this, you're done. So users can now report hate speech directly in the mobile app through a small paper airplane icon on the bottom right-hand side of the post. Tap to report. And then someone yeah. has to check it out and then go. But, yeah, I mean. If you if you want to put these social things up, people don't realize that. Like when companies do these social media things, they, you have to monitor it. Otherwise, your company can pretty much get taken out by this. Really fast. And yeah. they're also using guidelines to uh, remove Islamophobic, anti-Semitic, and anti-LGBTQ content. Yes. So that's good. So good for you. Um, you know, Facebook had the big problem with that. Now, now I guess Tumblr is having that next challenge. We need to stop doing the negative. I have no idea why people think an anonymity allows them to be dicks. Yeah, yeah, they're not really 
you know, anonymity is is what's causing a lot of the bullying and stuff. Because they, they think they get away with it. They know they're not. There's no yes. To it and it's faceless and it's you know, it's just cowardice is what it, <laughs> it is. You have something to drink? I do, and it's swallowed in the wrong pipe. That's well, the problem. Drink, drink again. We're, we're gonna stay here and, and and watch you drown on the air. Oh yeah, I, that'd I be a great idea. Uh, uh, go like that. Go. Uh. Uh. No, not no, not no. Oh, too I, late now. Okay. You're not going to do it. You got to uh, you get, you got to engage the uh, epiglottis to get it to flip and, and get recoded. Okay. Get I'll, I'll take your word for it. As long as I don't have to play with my uvula. Scientific mess of that. You play with your uvula all the time. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, did you know we're being invaded again? You say hey a lot. I do. Hey. Hey. Hey, good. Hey. So Oi. we're being invaded by what? My, my European friends. What do we mean? We're being invaded by European friends? No, we're being invaded by electric scooters. Yeah, I will not get my daughter one of these. Sorry. Well, maybe I will. I don't know. No, no, no. It says so right here. Um, sco- the scooters uh, are cluttering sidewalks, blocking wheel tramps, riders weaving through crowds, you know, travelers causing bruises and broken bones. And that's yes. why my daughter will not get one because she has screws and and, and, and bars in her hand because she fell off a scooter and broke her wrist twice. Twice. Same. But she got back on the horse, didn't she? Yeah, and we took the scooters away. We said, we're done. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait a minute. How old is she? She's of age now. She's 18. Yeah. You can buy her own scooter. Oh, thanks for the help. Hey, this will be the one show for boxes. Scott said, Scott said, Scott said I could have a scooter again. Yeah, right, like she watches can, our show to I see I can take it to college. I can take it to college. So. That's all right. I love you. Don't ride this scooter and break yourself. Yep. So it was kind of weird. So in March, all these scooters showed up in San Francisco. Yes. And then in June, they're gone. Right. And to, to what's really making this interesting is there's not like five major companies that have raised over a billion dollars to make this thing work. Really? Yeah. It, 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 I can see the usefulness of them. Um, well, we have city bikes now. I don't know if you have seen that or not, but there's these bike racks Yes. around town and you check out the bike and then you ride it to another bike rack and you put it in there and, and there are city Correct. bikes. They all, look, they all look alike. They, so, mostly, yeah. Yeah. They have numbers on them. That's how you tell. Pretty cool. Yeah. But, okay. again, the problem with that is it requires you to have physical effort. Right. See, they're electric. So how are they recharging them? What they just they, – so is that the deal? People are just dumping them when they're out of charge? They just – Oh, it's really cool how this is working. Okay. Um, everything there, – there's a 4K Wi-Fi in all these units or Bluetooth, 4K Bluetooth. Okay. Something like that. I probably should have read this a little bit. I understand the concept of it. Anyway. There's some concept. Go ahead. It uses the same type of app as Uber, Lyft, and, and other events like that. Okay. Um, it tells you where you can pick one up, the closest one to you to pick up. Okay. You pay for it before you use it. When you pay for it, it unlocks that machine. You get on it, take it to where you're going, and you drop it off. And now the company now knows where you've dropped it off. Okay. If somebody else uses it, it, it's a circle or cycle. It goes through many different places, people a day. I got that. It's a dollar and 15 cents per mile. Okay, go ahead. And then after that, if at the end of the night, they have people who go around and pick up the ones that need charging and they get paid for it. And they wow. had a name and I had it set up and I went too far down my list and I lost it. Bummers. They have a name. They're, they're, Scooter retrievers? Yes, yeah, scooter retrievers. That's it. But they also uh, call are they really something. called that? I just made that up. I, I didn't read it. No. Here they are. Um, the there's juicers. They're called juicers. Oh, okay. Okay. So what happens is uh, you, you, the potential juicers get hired uh, to um, – they get nine to twelve dollars depending on how low the battery is. So a juicer takes the function of how many scooters you pick up and how much power these scooters need. Uh, they oh, only, they pay for the electricity then they're taking right, the house. But they the only it only takes five cents of electricity to power it up hundred percent. 
Okay. So you're, you're actually getting paid for your time of going out and, and sure. picking up the ones in your area. Well, that's cool. And then the, the app also tells them where they should drop them off so that they're ready the next day for the people who habitually use them. It's really ingenious. That's pretty cool. The problem is just like a lot of roller skating, skateboards, and stuff like that. I'm sure you've seen no skateboards, no roller sure. skating on the sidewalks. Because people have accidents all the time. People walk out of a, a store, oh, open okay. a door, and wham. Skateboarding, yeah. Skateboarding is a little more they're, they're a little more out of control doing tricks and scraping up everything and doing stuff like that. So, okay, I get it. So, this but the problem is. Now, electric scooters, huh? The, 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 the two biggest pros and cons are the pros, the more people who ride the scooters is better for carbon emissions, traffic, and stuff like that. Right, but you have a place to park this kind of volume of scooters. I mean, Correct. if let's say everybody takes a scooter to the uh, public transportation and dumps them there. Correct. They, but then they're there when they come back to go back. So. Right, but yeah, that's it, right? But I'm just saying, if you get these areas where people just dump scooters and there aren't enough people to take them away. Correct. Then you, got the, then you have the problems with what they're But the juicers are putting them back in the areas that need them to be used. So right, it, but that's uh, at the end of the night. I'm saying during the day, people are tripping over them, um, and that's what I see the complaints are. That's what yes. And, of course, the fact that some of them are zipping through people and, and being rude, you know, out of my way, bam, 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 because they're going faster. Oh, I know Bam Bam. Uh, bam yes. Bam and Pebbles, right? That's right. Didn't they ever get yeah. married? I don't remember. Even Las Vegas, maybe? I don't know. Eva lost wages. Yeah. So there you go. Well, that's cool. Yeah. So, it has potential. I can see once they figure out how to regulate these better, I think they'll all come back. And I think this is really a trend that you're going to see permanently. Very cool. Until the next big so, thing comes along. So I think that um, I, I will let you do, since you penned another genuine positivity message. I dude, I dude. You did. You didn't do it. Dude? You did. Okay, but I'll take your word for it. Go for Be, it. Being positive and umpy on social media as in everyday life is a contagion we can all live better with. By me. Right. So Perfect. being positive and upbeat on social media as in everyday life. So, so get back to positive posts, right? Don't do the negative posts. Don't get a right. Tumblr. Uh, take your post out. So go ahead, be positive, do fun things. Uh, make somebody smile today. Just do that. Make somebody smile today. I think that's. I great. like to smile. I like to make people, my whole thing. The reason I'm an entertainer is because I love to make people happy and make them right. smile. It makes it. That is the biggest thing in the world for me to feed off of is the happiness of other people. Cool. So um, this next story is pretty cool. I think. Because now I can dance like So You Think You Can Dance and, and Dancing with the Stars and what else? Uh, oh, that dance game. What's that dance game? Dance, dance Revolution. Yes, Dance Revolution. So I, I, we can start posting this. So I, it's called Everybody Dance Now. It's a motion video subject UC Berkeley put out where you take one person dancing, but they didn't explain – the other person, how they have to stand, but it, right. it it makes the other person dance. So let me let me get this started and let me share it here. Uh, share screen. So the guy is dancing. The girl with the door in the video is not dancing. The computer is moving her into the positions, right, making her dance. Now, what would have been really cool well, how does is it get the front and the back of her. Like I said, it doesn't show the original picture of what you had to do to put her, to put her in there. Right. From what I was reading, you literally, I think you just do a 360 of yourself. You stand okay. in one spot and turn around so that the computer can do a 360. So you do the hokey right. pokey. You, yeah. You put your yeah. right foot in, you turn yourself about. So, so here's the source subject. This is the person who's actually dancing. And then this is the target subject. The girl with the door, again, is not really dancing. The computer is adjusting her image to make it look like she's doing those dance moves. So that's pretty cool. It really is. 
Now, you know what would make this even cooler? If they had a workout AI program like this so that I can make people think that I'm working out all the time. Or you could actually just work out and get into shape. <laughs> so, you, know, you can do that too. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Sure. So I love that the source subjects are such beautiful pictures, but then I get this one girl. Hey, she's always at the oh, door. Yeah. The door. Yeah. But that is pretty cool. I mean, you can see it. So look this up. It's called Deep Fakes. D E E P F A K E S. Deep Fakes. Deep Fakes for dancing. Yeah. So that is pretty kind of cool. I thought so. So. So there was that. So uh, I thought that was exciting and fun. Exciting and new. Come aboard. We're expecting. What TV show is that from? Love Boat. Very good. I, could, I had to stop singing because the next part would have said, The yeah. Love the Boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Soon we'll be making another cruise. Yes. So, uh, phrase origin but, story. But we're not really old timey. We're very old timey. <laughs> we're so old timey. Yeah. I'm going I'm to make a billion dollars, and I'm going to bring all these old TV shows back, and everybody's going to go, oh, you're so cutting edge. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll go along with that. So we have a group of three together that yes. actually are related, apparently. That's correct. They are very, very much related. Okay. And the, the three phrase origin stories are Graveyard Shift, Dead Ringer, and Saved by the Bell. Right, and so, Saved by a Bell, even though it was a TV show, is not what we're talking about. I'm going to guess, without reading the article, because I did not prepare for this show, I'm going to guess where the origin came from. So the graveyard shift, the guys who would dig the graves, dug the graves overnight. So since they were working overnight to dig the grave for the next morning for the burial, that's where the graveyard shift came from. So now, okay. dead ringer. Don't tell me if I'm right or wrong yet. Dead Ringer, if you saw Monty Python, and was it Life of Brian? Bring out ye dead, ding. Bring out ye dead, ding. The guy who, but why would he look like somebody else who's a Dead Ringer? Well, I don't have that part figured out. But the Dead Ringer was the guy who used to come around and ring the bell to bring the dead people out. And that, and, okay, so maybe I don't have that one figured out. And then Saved by the Bell would be the same thing, but I don't have that for you. So if you weren't really dead when the guy came around ringing the bell, bring out you dead. But like the old man in Monty Python. But, but I'm not dead yet. Well, he'll be dead soon. Can you take him? But he's not <laughs> dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Can you take him? He'll be dead soon. But I'm not dead yet. And he hits him over the head. How about now? Okay. Bring out you dead. <laughs> so how now for those of you who don't know what Monty Python is, look it up. It's worth it. So, so, so how close was I? Um, you failed on all three. Okay. But you were sort of close on the first one. All right. So, so they all have to do with the, the, the reason they have in common is because they all have to do with uh, dead people. Dead people. Okay. Or actually potential dead people. Okay. All right. Back in the old days, there were a lot of diseases that ran rampant that imitated death. You weren't actually dead. You were in a coma. Okay. And they didn't have the medical science to, to realize that the people weren't really dead, and they bury people. You can't hold the mirror up to their, their nose and see if they're breathing? Sometimes, right. Like they do on TV. Oh, he's not right. dead yet, look. Oh, yes. he's a vampire. I can't see a shadow. So um, the graveyard ship, uh, what ended up happening is there were instances where during floods and stuff like that, some of the graves would, would be uh, washed up and opened up. Okay. And they would see that there were claw marks on the inside from people trying to escape from being buried alive. And they realized they were literally burying people alive. So what they would do, and this is why all three of these go together, uh -huh. is they would put a string into the coffin attached okay. to a bell above ground. So when the coffin was buried, if the person woke up, they could ring the bell. Okay. <sighs> So you have three things. You had a night shift called the graveyard shift that would be there in case in a the bell In the graveyard in case a bell rang. The person who was buried alive was the dead ringer because they're ringing the bell because they're not really dead. Right. And, of course, by ringing the bell, the graveyard shift would save them because and they were they saved, by the up and saved by the bell. How cool is that? That's very cool. That's very exciting. I 
I liked my story and I liked the movie. I did too. That's why I set up. It was like, yeah, this uh, is all right. Especially since you brought in my, actually, my body. That's actually pretty good. That's actually really, really good. I like that. So thank you for finding those three that we put together. So your phrase origin story was a triple threat of the graveyard shit. <laughs> <laughs> graveyard shift, dead ringer, and saved by the bell. Yeah. But, mean, but before I die again, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision. And please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. And guess what? I am pointing the right way now. That is the Yay. way to point to what happened dot world. Go to what happened dot world. Go to what happened dot world. Like us, share us, connect with all of our social media. Go to Fun Guy the Entertainer Cooks for You. Learn how to cook. Learn how to eat. Learn how to enjoy life. Uh, spread some positivity. Make someone smile today. I want you to live every day, and we'll see you at the next show. Be genuinely positive, live and love life, and have a good one. Be crazy. Uh, 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 uh,